Welcome to our YouTube channel. Here recap movie clip. Not important but try to do like or dislike the content. The film starts in 1944, at the end of World War II. Some of the American soldiers slept in the woods. Chris, a soldier, witnesses a nightmare. He awakens, terrified, and notices someone in front of him on the tree. He had his gaze fixed on him. Chris is terrified when he sees him, and the man on the tree is about to shoot Chris with his gun. Chris closes his eyes when he sees this. However, time passes and no one shoots at him. When he opens his eyes, he sees no one. The following morning, their group makes its way to the outpost. When they arrive, they hear strange voices. They immediately flee. There was their enemy's jeep, they go to them while blasting it. They start ending the remaining soldiers. Chris's companions take out the gold teeth from the other soldier's mouth. They discover their post while taking a map from them. One of the companions of Chris, Butchie sees a German soldier. He wasn't affected by this incident. He asks him to fight. The soldier was looking powerful than Chris's companion. Because he was giving a strong fight to Butchie. That's why Chris shoots at him from behind. While leaving they take those soldiers things. On the way, they again feel someone is coming to them. They hurriedly sit down. They notice a survivor's group in front. In which, a lady was taking her son somewhere. They have nothing to keep the cold at bay. Chris gives them the coat from the soldiers things and golden teeth also. So survival will be easy. They were passing from the forest while going to the new post. Chris tells his group the post where we are going it is a castle. We have to protect it. When they reach the castle the guard was sleeping outside the castle. As he notices the group coming there he awakes and tells his group, they can leave now. They get ready to move from there immediately. Chris was surprised why they are in hurry to leave. Even it was good and a safe place. Their commander tells Chris, there is something insisting on us to leave. But she asks them to leave their radio. In the next scene, these soldiers are shown cooking in the kitchen. Meanwhile, Chris and Butchie were exploring this castle. Chris notices a piano during the visit to the castle. He starts playing it. The voice of this piano reaches all the corners of the house. Meanwhile, Chris hears an unknown voice from a room. While following the voice, he goes to an abandoned room, there were burning spots on the floor everywhere. Butchie also feels there is someone in the washroom. He finds the door locked when he tries to open it. The door opens automatically when he moves away. After it, the soldiers sit for having food. They hear strange voices. They move to check those voices with their weapons. Butchie checks everywhere on the second floor. Chris was hearing his own voice. As he moves near the voice he reaches a room. Everything was covered but now they were feeling noise from another direction. There was another door. As they move to the door the door opens automatically. As they move the curtain they see the shadow of a hanged dead body on the window. Suddenly, the wind blows and the curtain of the windows moves away. Due to it, the reflection of the dead body also disappears, they were sitting together at night and telling ghost stories. One of the soldiers was keeping an eye outside the castle through his telescope. One of them tells his group he has found a journal of 18 years girl from the basement. She might live in this house. At the same time, they hear some voices from the fireplace. Chris says the voices seem like Morse code. Butchie decodes it and tells he is saying I have no legs suddenly, the voices stop. A man says we should go towards Attic, because it is a good place to keep an eye on anyone's arrival. Going there the troop who got the journal tries to read it. All the words are removed from it, then he notices a photo. His candle blows off when he sees it, when he again lights up the candle from his lighter the family disappears from the photo. The soldier, who is standing on Attic's window with a rifle feels someone is watching him. But he ignores this. He notices a girl's hanged dead body while observing things outside. As he sees it again the dead body disappears. He searches for it there. Suddenly, a boy ghost appears in front of his telescope. He gets scared after all this Chris, his companion and Butchie are shown in the balcony they were concluding everything. Why do those troops return soon? The voice was heard repeatedly, and a girl's hanged body was shown. These all were scary things. Meanwhile, the other troop arrives who saw the boy ghost at night. He tells them the soldiers didn't return being scared of those things, after a few hours, the German soldiers will attack here. Being worried a soldier says we have to hide in the forest before they pass from here. But Chris says we should protect this castle while going in front of them. When they go to the attic for this task they notice a pentagram there. One of the troops believes someone has ended the people with the help of magic. After it, they start their task while leaving all this. As they move the cupboard and it touches the pentagram its door closes itself. A soldier's hand was stuck in it. His all fingers were broken due to it. The other troop notices the hanged dead body's reflection of the girl. They notice her again and again. 
but he notices nothing when he sees behind. After all this, the group is again shown together at a place. They were taking commands on the radio of their duties and about German troops. They hear some weird voice from the radio. In which a lady was saying to them I am coming. They confirm that the castle is haunted. A soldier says we should leave before the arrival of German troops. But again they hear voices from fireplace. Like they were hearing before. While decoding Butchie writes, if you leave later, a power controls his hand. It was written on the page you will die the troops were ready at night to fight with the German soldiers. Two were in the attic and others were hidden in front of the entrance. As the German soldiers arrive the attic soldiers tell the others about their arrival. The German troops gets off their truck to attack them, but they find all the doors and windows locked there. They feel there is none. They hear a voice while leaving. The troops immediately return, one of them throws the bomb inside while breaking the window. But she lays on it. All the German soldiers come inside and Chris was shooting them hurriedly. As the soldiers arrive in the castle Chris moves to the basement to hide. Someone has hidden there already and attacks Chris from the stairs. Chris falls due to it. During this, a soldier feels someone coming from behind him in the study room. As he stands up to end him there wasn't any soldier. There was the ghost boy and the soldier burned while seeing him. A German soldier finds his body with Chris's body in the hall. As he turns Chris's body to see, Chris's body attacks and ends him. More people were watching this. One soldier was hiding in the washroom from Chris's group. He was listening to the baby laughing voices. As he loads the gun and moves out someone was falling a German soldier in a bathtub. The soldier in the attic also hears a weird voice. He finds a German soldier's dead body hanged. Butchie is shown in the next morning he was burned completely. Chris orders a boy to end him while giving him morphine. Chris notices the dead bodies of German troops in a bad condition. Many people were ended by ghosts. Seeing all this, they were talking about ghosts and things that happened here. A soldier figures out this is happening because German troops must have done wrong to them. He discovered from the journal the family's father was burned alive in the study. The place where Butchie was burned. His son was drowned in the bathtub, his daughter was hanged in the attic. Whom's dead body was shown them again and again their dead bodies were not buried that's why their souls become ghosts now, they decide to bury them. A soldier checks Butchie, is he alive? So they will ask him about ghosts. Suddenly, Butchie awakes and holds Chris. He asks him to remember and then he dies. Chris and his companions were in the basement to get any other clue. They find another journal there. It was empty and returning castle they talked to leave this place. Chris says we should bury their dead bodies. Suddenly, the writing appears in the journal he was having in his hand. He wants to read to but his other member Eugene doesn't let him read. First and foremost, he emphasizes the importance of returning. They bury Butchie's dead body outside the castle and leave. On the way, they meet the survivors whom they meet at the start of the movie. They also notice an ambulance. The night appears while walking. They were in the forest from where they started their journey. They sleep there. When they awake the next morning, they find some spells written on the floor. They immediately leave. On the way, they again find the ambulance. They noticed it while returning to the castle. While walking, they again reach the castle. They realize here, they are trapped. When they decode the spells of the forest from the journal of the castle, they learn that this is a Muslim curse. If someone amplifies evil, evil will follow him. Wherever they will go will return to this castle. Chris decides to talk to those ghosts. He sprinkles a powder on the ground. As the ghosts walk there were their footprints on the floor. Due to it, they discover they are moving forward to Chris. The ghosts pick Chris and take him outside the other troop shoots in ghosts direction but nothing happened and they take Chris to another house. Something weird happens to them all the scene changes, now they get the dead bodies. They bury them with Butchie's grave and while burying their father the writing in the journal changes. It was stated here that the family was Afghani rather than German. They save non-Muslims while putting their lives at risk. They again go inside the castle and search for clues. They find some changes in the journal. It was written the dead body's power will increase being buried. Meanwhile, the light blinks there. One of the men sits in the ritual pentagram. He was seeing the ghosts there. The ghosts attack the soldiers, the soldiers attack them with their guns. Meanwhile, Butchie's dead body tells them this is not real. A ghost takes Chris to the mayor. The ghost asks him to remember something. Chris wakes up in the present and was in front of a doctor and nurse in a facility. He notices he has no legs. The doctor says you will remember everything. He remembers here he wasn't an American soldier but an Afghani soldier. He saved an American doctor they come into a house and ask them to hide behind a wall. The American doctor was also with them. Meanwhile, the American soldiers burn the father with fuel. They hanged their daughter and also and their son. 
Chris comes in present. A doctor tells they used a simulation to transport his mind to the World War II era. They were discovering these ghosts. Suddenly, they discover those ghosts in the facility. Chris asks the doctor to restart the sim. So he'll go to the castle and finish everything. In that nightmare, Chris returns to the forest. From the beginning of the film, what do you want? He asks the man on the tree. This is where the film ends. Thank you for your time.